Minister of Electricity, Dr. Khunzi Yentu Ramukhopa, says the current power cuts have dire impacts on the country's economy. He says about 30 billion rand is spent annually on diesel to keep the lights on. Ramukhopa says this is the cost to protect South Africa's economy. Minister Ramukhopa says government, alongside ESCOM, are working on plans to ensure that power generation is recovered. He says the current energy plan will see about 2,000 megawatts added onto the grid by the end of the calendar year. So the point we're making is that there has to be some degree of agency. You can see some of these uh, projects that they have announced are only connecting end of the financial year, uh, calendar year, I'm sorry, some of them next year, but uh, we need to move with speed and address the issue that uh, constitute an emergency as I speak to you, so that we are able to protect them. Um, if you like, uh, the, the, the South African economy. ASCOM's head of generation, Begin Malo, says because of the three-unit outages at Kusile, South Africans should prepare themselves to spend hours during this cold winter night without power. This year as well, this winter, we're also going through this winter without a unit at Quebec, which is something that is first for us in generation. But it's also the commitment that we have to deal with the uh, the issues of uh, long-term operation of Quebec power station. So we've got about 3,000 megawatts that are currently of which makes this winter extremely uh, uh, difficult to deal with. At the same time, Ramakhopa says government is working on several projects to bring in additional megawatts onto the national grid. There are issues on accelerating the procurement of new generation capacity, like I said, wind, solar, gas, and, uh, and battery storage. And and work is at an advanced stage to procure emergency power solutions for a period not more than five years. Minister Ramukhopa says the current energy crisis must also be seen as an opportunity for investment and growth in jobs, while also improving economic growth. Notando Makutulela, SAPC News, Johannesburg.